here. You're watching Dirt Bike Channel. I'm your host, Kyle Brotherson. Today, we're out on a ride with the boys. I've got Tyler and his son, Cade, with us. And I've also got my two sons. I've got Connor and Case. Um, both uh, my son, Case, and Tyler's son, Cade, are riding KTM 50 SX bikes. Um, Cade actually races in a circuit. Uh, Tyler's got them in a, in a motocross racing circuit. And they he goes around and learns how to ride that thing really well. And he's a really good rider. Uh, Connor and my boys, uh, Connor and Case, we, we haven't done that. But it was fun to get out and actually um, do a ride together with our, with our sons. And one of the other things that I'm doing here is this was on the first or second day that I had tested out the Senna Bluetooth headsets. And so I'm trying to get my boys, I'm trying to get them synced up. And what happened is I am, my headset is synced with Case's headset, who was up there in the lead. He, and it was so we couldn't even communicate. So I'll go down this trail uh, to see if this is a place we want. I want to send the boys because a lot of the trails out here get just get just technical enough that it's a little bit too much for these small bikes. So um, up, what will happen is we'll we'll get kind of going up some of these things, and it'll be stuff that the boys can handle, and then we'll have to kind of help them through some stuff because with those small tires, it can become nearly impossible for the little bikes, especially the 50s, to get up over some of the step obstacles. The 65 can do it if you're a really good rider and you commit to it, but the little 50s, not so much. And I keep telling my sons, my boys, I can't wait until uh, we can graduate Case off of the 65, or off of the 50 and move him up to a 65, because I think things are just gonna be um, a lot easier because then Connor who's my 10 year old right here he'll probably move up to an 85 and then I'll have you know one kid on a 65 this bike here this KTM 65 I'll have another one on an 85 maybe like a Yamaha 85 or or something like that and that I think is going to be when we can kind of make some leaps and bounds because these little 50s they overheat easily they don't have a ton of low end there's no clutch on them either you know so you're they're learning things because they've got, you know, good front brakes, good rear brake, uh, but they don't have that full-on clutch, so they're not getting the full feel of what a full-on dirt bike is going to be, you know, later on that they're going to run their entire lives. So this is Cade right here in front of me. Cade uh, was an awesome little rider. He did a bunch of downhills. This is one of probably uh, um, overall, because we did two loops today, this is probably one of the longer and more technical loops that he had done, and he was just a champ. It's so fun to watch how little, how boys will just kind of mimic, you know, their friends and do do some really cool stuff and even get out of their comfort zone. I know that has happened with my son. I saw these rocks over here and I'm like, oh, look, this, this is a good wall. I'm going to come over and pound up this little wall here and then I'll get back over on the trail. Um, but yeah, it was good to get the boys out together and I think they all learned from each other and they had a really good time. I can help you, buddy. Hey, Connor, wait just a second. Wait right there. You know, Case maybe would have been able to uh, make it up that first hill where he stopped if he would have had carried carried a bunch of momentum and and uh, and committed. It doesn't look like it's bad at all, but trust me, it's much harder than it looks. Uh, these little bikes, they just don't do all that well on these little technical things. So. Now Tyler wants me to swap over and run his KTM 250 XCF. This is uh, the, the four-stroke 250, and this, this bike is such a freaking blast to ride. It is my favorite bike in the KTM lineup that's a four-stroke, the 250 XCF. They are just so freaking fun. And uh, I was giving Tyler a hard time because he had, he had stalled it like two or three times before this because he was forgetting that he was on his four-stroke bike rather than his uh, two-stroke bike. So I'm like, I'll, I'll see if I can uh, ride it without stalling it like you. So. Just give him a little bit of hard time there. Can you guys hear me?
What'd you come up to? Oh, you, that's because you missed the trail. It's right up here, buddy. We'll have to turn you around. Yeah, I'm on Tyler's four stroke. Watch these seven and eight year old boys go up this trail. I'm so proud of how they decided to just take the bull by the horns and, and conquer their fears and just do it with uh, enthusiasm. So proud of these little dudes. Oh yeah. And then Case, Case, Case. Just shut it down right there, Case, and let it cool off a bit. Hey, hey Tyler. So, so, so I hear Connor on the intercom. He goes, Dad, I don't think anyone's gonna go down this. Look at this thing. Here, you, you hold it, hold it. Why didn't you wanna go down that, Connor? See, as you get older, you'll get better at learning, at watching where the trails go, sniffing them out.